Simulan na natin kasi bigla na lang ito magtawag uh, ng uh, sesyon. Palayasin tayo dito. May 3 o'clock. So, good afternoon uh, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> This meeting is here by call to order. I would like anyway, to announce na lang that uh, other members of this committee are uh, still coming. the other members of the Committee on Public Order and Dangerous Drugs. May I request our committee secretary to please acknowledge our uh, resource persons present today? Thank you, sir. We would like to acknowledge the following guests from the Philippine National Police. Uh, General, Brigadier, Police Brigadier General Valeriano T. De Leon, Thank you, sir. Police Brigadier General Eugenio Pagirigan. Thank you, sir. Uh, Police Colonel Jose Melesio C. Nartates, Jr. Afternoon, sir. We would like to also acknowledge the following guests from the private sectors. Uh, from the Association of Firearms and Ammunition Dealers of the Philippines, we would like to welcome the President of AFAD, Mr. Alaric Alexander Topasio. From the Firearms Ammunition Manufacturer Association of the Philippines, we would like to welcome the representatives, Ms. Mary Ann Topasio, Mr. Myron Paule. Thank you. From the Philippine Practical Shooting Association, uh, we would like to welcome Attorney Ray Francisco. Thank you, sir. From the Philippine Shooters and Match Officers Confederation Incorporated, uh, we would like to welcome Mr. Rosendo Castro, Corporate Secretary. Thank you, sir. Mr. Efren Reyes, so Director. Welcome, sir. And also the Vice President and spokesman of the Gun Owners in Action, or GOAC, Attorney Rodrigo Moreno. Thank you, sir. From the Progan Philippines, 
uh, Attorney Ernesto Tabuhara Jr. Thank you, sir. The Chairman of the A2S5 Coalition, Mr. Michael Melchor. Thank you, sir. And from the Society of Practical and Defensive Shooters, uh, Mr. Casimiro Villarosa. Uh, Mr. Uh, Nathaniel De La Paz. Uh, and the President, Mr. Eric Acosta. Coming from the Philippine Institute of Firearms Instructors Associations Incorporated, uh, we would like to welcome Mr. Ernie Claudio. Thank you, sir. From the National Range Officers Institute Philippines, we would like to welcome its Executive Director, Mr. Reynaldo Ganaban. Thank you for coming, sirs. It's like uh, I'm in a very familiar territory. Sarange lang tayo nakikita-kita ngayon dito na sa session hall, ha? Anyway, uh, allow me first to deliver my uh, opening statement. Again, uh, good afternoon. The second amendment to the United States of America Constitution reads, a well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. By virtue of this constitutional provision, it is considered as a fundamental right of every U.S. citizen to own and possess firearms. Along with the U.S., only Mexico, Mexico, Guatemala, Mexico and Guatemala have a constitu constitutional right to own a gun. In our country, gun ownership and possession is not a matter of right. It may very well be considered as a privilege, considering the numerous conditions that you have to prove and documentary requirements you have to submit before one can be authorized to own and possess firearms. For one, a person will not be allowed to carry firearms outside of his residence or place of business unless the applicant can prove that his or her life is under actual threat by submitting a threat assessment from the PNP. Despite the rigorous requirements, our government allows ownership and possession of firearms of its citizens because it recognizes the right of its citizens to self-defense against unlawful aggression. Before the enactment of Republic Act No. 10591 or the Comprehensive Firearms and Ammunition Regulation Act, there are 1,650,353 registered firearms for individual and juridical persons. This number increased to 1,000,000 869,684 upon the implementation of RA number 10591. <clears throat> Excuse me. Unfortunately, as of August 31, 2019, out of the 1,869,684 registered firearms before, 45% or 837,000 758 firearms registration were not renewed. The question is why? Why did the owners of these firearms risk not to register their firearms despite, despite knowing they can be imprisoned for failing to obtain the necessary license? <clears throat> the bills under, reconsider under consideration today, authored by Senator Recto and Soveri, seek to streamline the process of renewing both the license and registration of firearms by providing for a uniform period of validity for license, license to own and possess firearms and permit to carry firearms outside of residence or place of business. Senator Recto wants to set the period at every four years 
while Senator Soberi seeks to set the period at every five years. Today, we intend to hear the opinions of all stakeholders with utmost consideration for whatever would be the most beneficial to the general public. It is not the gun that kills, but the man who pulls the trigger. I hope that we could meet halfway and come up with a law that shall protect and promote the safety of our people, regardless as to whether they possess guns or not. Thank you. We would like also to recognize the presence of Police Major General Roberto B. Pajardo. Ikaw ng uh, CSG. CSG, Director. Thank you. For orderly conduct of this hearing, we will start with the statements of Philippine National Police, then followed by AFAD, then followed by AMAP, Ammunition Manufacturer Association of the Philippines, then followed by Gun Owners in Action, then Pro Gun Philippines, then Philippine Institute of Firearms Instructors Association. So, bilis-bilisan natin para hindi tayo abutin ng uh, session. Please uh, proceed. May we hear from the PNP? May nakarili di ba kayong briefing? PNP? Wala? Dio. Yes, sir. Amiron. Saan mo, Dio? Magandang hapon po. Uh, Kagalang-galang na siya na ito. De La Rosa, sir. In fact, uh, what, I'm be, uh, what I'll be presenting or uh, delivering this afternoon, sir, is an offshoot of uh, your letter, sir, when you were still the chief PNP to Senator Lasson and the additional uh, uh, notes from uh, the uh, CSG, sir. Uh, before you proceed, uh, let me recognize the presence of uh, the majority leader, Senator uh, Subiri, and uh, the author of uh, one of the two bills that we are now uh, uh, discussing. Uh, please continue. So we are, we, with the presence of uh, the majority, majority leader, I now declare uh, quorum for this. Uh, <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, sir. thank you, thank you for the quorum. <laughs> please, Again, sir, as, I, as I'm saying a while ago, sir, uh, may I uh, refresh you, sir, on the junior letter uh, on April 9, uh, 2018, to Senator Lacson. Dear Senator Lacson, this pertains to the position paper of the Philippine National Police on Senate Bill Number 11, uh, 1611 entitled An Act Fixing the Validity Period of the License to Own and Possess, Farm, possess Permit to Carry Outside Residence or Place of Business and Registration of Firearms Amending the Purpose for the Purpose Section 7 and 19 of RA 10591, otherwise known as uh, the Comprehensive Firearms and Ammunition Regulations Act. The PNP commends the laudable intention of the Senate to synchronize the validity of the license to own and possess firearms and registration of firearms to four years, which will be reckoned from the birth date of the applicant or license, licensee. However, the PNP submits its reservation to the proposed extension of the validity of the permit to carry firearms outside of residence or what we call PTC4 from one year to four years since the carrying of firearms outside one's residence should be monitored on a yearly basis as part of our security regulations to ensure public safety. On the other hand, sir, on the present update, at present, the validity of license to own and possess firearms is two years. about Ito, sir. Huh? PTC4 is... Uh, Gusto natin i-maintain <laughs> one year? Yeah. Diba yung stand yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. So what do you Before. expect from me? Uh, maybe, maybe. Now, uh, what do you expect? 
Sir, Are you are going to change my position? Maybe you are a politician now, sir. <laughs> <laughs> but that is only our as well. Please yes, continue. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So may I be privileged again, sir, for the update of uh, the position of the PNP. I present the validity of license to own, possess, and, and, to own and possess firearms is two years. Farm registration is four years, and permit to carry firearms outside residence is one year. Since the full implementation of RA 10591, the FPO, in this case, sir, in this case, uh, General Baldeleon is the chief or the director, have been considering different measures to be more responsive to the, to the directive of the president, to streamline the, proce the processing of licenses and permits. The PNP through the FEO is the claimer of firearm holders and supports the lengthening of the validity of license to own and possess firearms and firearm registration. However, as a regulatory office, we should not compromise other provisions of the law, specifically in ensuring that only qualified individuals should be granted LTAPF under Section 4, Article 2 of RA 10591 to cause registration of his or her firearm. The revenue collection is not the mandate of, of FEO of the PNP since it is a regulatory office. We adhere to multiplying existing schedule fee to the validity of the issued L top F and firearm registration. Again, sir, uh, this is not uh, yet signed the uh, opposition paper of the PNP. Uh, we will we will submit the final uh, position upon uh, upon the signature of the chief PNP. Thank you very much for that. Uh, let me uh, yield the floor to the majority leader. Then masaya itong busy. Libuter ito, libuter. May ikot to sa lahat ng hearing. Kaya bigyan natin ang priority. Please, uh, thank you, thank you, uh, Chair. <coughs> Umiikot ako, dala ako yung MMDA ng Senado eh. <laughs> taga, taga bigay ng quorum. But uh, generals, uh, pleasant good morning. Oh, good afternoon to everyone, to the stakeholders in the firearms industry. Good afternoon. You know, um, time and time again, we are, uh, for us, um, how law-abiding uh, responsible gun owners, Time and time again, we have to always uh, go to Camp Krame and uh, the different areas where we have to um, reapply our LT, our LTAP. And uh, it's and since the passage of the law in uh, I believe it was 2012, 13, huh? 13. Um, <clears throat> nakita naman natin sa na paka tedious. Tama si nabi po ni <clears throat> General um, uh, Pagri Pagu Pagiran. Pagirigan is that um, it becomes uh, uh, tedious and open to a lot of red tape. Manakakaroon ng red tape. The president, we passed the ease of doing business a law, which is my law, uh, in last year, 2017, uh, sorry, 2019. And um, we also uh, got the executive order from the president to streamline our different offices in the government. <clears throat> so in, in, um, in light of that, we thought of, our office thought of coming up with a five-year renewal period for LTAP. Driver's license can say five years. Yan eh. So, you know, a car, if you ask me, a car is more dangerous than a firearm because responsible owners, gun owners, will not really remove their firearms from the residence or will use it indiscriminately. If they will, they will be at the brunt of the full force of the law. But, fire, but drivers <coughs> get, their fire, uh, get their licenses every five years and yet, their car, if, if you ask me, the car is more dangerous than the firearm kasi kung magkamali ka, makabangga ka ng uh, ilang, ilang tao no, sa kapsada. So, um, my rationale there being that if we lengthen the period from two to five years, number one, it will be more streamlined. Number two, it will be beneficial to the gun owners and also for the PNP because you have a lot of personnel handling uh, the uh, ease or early no, re renewal of LTAP. But at the same time, I'm also looking at the possible people in the PMP might say there might be a possible loss of revenue because once every five years instead of once every two years. But in actuality, we can recommend that just double your rates. Just uh, prorate it. How much is it every two years? Tapos multiply mo sa five years. Para sa ganun, wala kayong loss of income. One collection, Balaki kagad ng collection ninyo. 
and uh, you still will have the same income as then doing it every two years. Same, that will be the same uh, income for the PNP. So, ginawa na rin namin na registration of firearms, <coughs> gawin na rin from four to five years para magtugma siya. So, pag renew mo ng LTAP, renew ka na rin ng firearms, sabay-sabay na. Because right now, I get, honestly, to be honest, Chairman, na-confused, na-confused ako. Meron akong staff in charge lang sa license kasi collector din, type 5 ako na firearms. So, what, what, by birthday, I have so-and-so number of firearms. Next year, another birthday, may so-and-so na naman ako ng firearms. Tapos, nagkaiba-iba, and then LTAP, iba na naman. So, may tatlong process ka within two years' time, tatlong process na ina-applyan mo. Balik-balik ba na, na yung mga test do and all that. So, yun ang request namin po as a responsible gun owner and uh, uh, a responsible citizen of the Republic. Um, we feel that uh, let's just synchronize it similar to our uh, driver's licenses, which is basically five years for both LTOP and uh, firearms uh, license renewals. And then, of course, without uh, prejudice to the request of the PNP, on the requirements, yung uh, neuro, uh, drug tests, uh, will also be, uh, there, that will not be, how do you, how do you say, uh, uh, that will not be um, uh, watered down under this measure. Same requirements, pero lengthen uh, licenses time lang, license time lang. I think that would be more practical din po uh, for the PNP. Anyway, uh, may online na po kayo, ang ganda ng onyong online component and uh, digital na po lahat. I think hindi na po tayo mahirapan dito sa pag-renew no? when then the five years comes comes along. And uh, I think this is shared also by so many gun owners because yan yata ang pinaka-popular bill ko. Ang dami ko na ipa... Without, well, oh, hindi naman sa pagyayabang, Chairman. Ang dami ko na na ipasa. Um, ano yan? Yung Pagsamoro, yung Ease of Doing Business, Renewable Energy Act. Pero yung pinaka-maraming likes and hits itong bill. Eh. Itong bill natin. Yung extending five years. Puring-puri ako. Dami mga comment. 1,000 comments kagad. Sabi ko ba, maraming gun owner talaga dito sa Pilipinas. Majority leader po, yung info, yung nagsige like dyan, sila-sila lang yan, pabalik-balik. The same people lang, pero namin si Dr. Pabalik-balik. Si General Pardo, kaibigan ko pa, he's a good friend of mine. So may we ask, I sorry, I came in late during the reading of the position paper, pero on your personal capacity, General, how would you rate this measure? Ah, yes sir. Actually, sir, we are amenable na pagtugmay na siya yung LTAP sa firearms, actually gusto rin po namin ma-streamline. Eh kung kaya nga pong itapap na natin kung ilan yung years ng validation ng passport, di ganun na rin. <laughs> uh, Masyado mahaba na yung passport. Mga five years na lang. Kasi uh, ten years yata yung passport. Yes, sir. Actually, that is advantage to the government kasi pwede naman natin i-cancel yan anytime mag ng violation. At the same time, bayad na siya. Na, oh boy, binayaran niya sa gobyerno yun eh. So pag na-cancel, alam mo, on the first year, nagkaroon sila violation, pwede na natin i-cancel. Kumita na po yung government ng apat na taon, kung isang taon pa na nagamit niya. So actually, sir, we are very amenable. And yung nga lang, sir, yung fees, tama po yung sinabi nyo na i-divide po natin sa five years para hindi naman po uh, agrabi natin yung gobyerno doon sa fees na babayaran para sa gobyerno. Tapos, Chair, maganda pa nito. Uh, tama sinabi mo. Tap, hindi, sa bill ko kasi, hindi namin ginalo yung provisions sa uh, ano, yung mga violations. Only the period. It was only Section 19 in our bill. So, all the Senator Rectoys here are my boss, are my George, um, the Senate President Pro Tem. Pero ang kagandahan nito, we didn't touch anymore the violations. So, whatever is in the original law in terms of violation, in terms of uh, uh, application, etc., etc., will remain. Ang sa bill ko ay ano lang po, uh, extension, but without prejudice to increasing the rates. So pwede niyo po increase pwede niyo prorate for five years. Very amenable po kami dyan, sir. Thank Baka you, sir. Comment po yung pataga para. Thank you. Uh, before we proceed, uh, we would like to acknowledge the presence of our uh, President Pro Tempore, Senator Ralph Recto, na first time na umatid ng hearing dahil lang dito. Oh, well, uh, very important ito sa kanya. Uh, he's, he's asking only for four years. But I think the, bad, the, the body is already agreeing on the five years. 
Parang, uh, as the way I see it, ha? Uh, it might be premature to conclude, but uh, uh, sa nakita Chairman, ko, magiging five years ito. Mr. Chairman, yes, I yes, support sir. the initiative of the Majority Leader and the Chairman of the Committee to extend it to five years. And the only reason my bid was four is because the registration was four in the beginning, and then the permit to carry is one, and the LTAP is two. So by, with two amendments, you make it to four, but I'm, I'm willing to go to five, 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 uh, Mr. Chairman, right? Okay, so are we all in agreement? <laughs> I think, uh, Mr. Chair, we're all in agreement. Because, um, uh, you know, my majority, my, my Senate President Pro Tem, malaming RPG yan eh, kaya kailangan niya ma five years. <laughs> so, uh, I think, uh, uh, pakinggan mo natin kung meron kwan. Meron, uh, uh, yeah, mga contradicting ideas dyan na uh, gustong patabas. Ah, sir, yung, We're willing to entertain. Pakinggan natin. Sir, yung Chief PTC for sir. Ma yes, go ahead. Po, Chief PTC for. So, kanila po kasi yung ano, eh, permit to carry. Okay. Office yeah. of the Chief. I am Colonel Rotate, sir. The current uh, secretariat uh, head of the uh, PTC for secretariat. Our uh, duties and functions is uh, we assist the Chief Philippine National Police in uh, the issuance of uh, the permit to carry outside the uh, re residence for every uh, uh, applicant. And uh, as such, uh, as Secretariat, uh, of course, we, it's only on the Chief Philippine National Police who is the authority to uh, issue uh, uh, PTC for license. And uh, we only process these uh, applications such that uh, if granted or uh, upon our recommendation based on the requirements that that, uh, that the applicants have submitted we recommend for approval or disapproval and uh, as of this present um, uh, the authority which is the chief Philippine, P chief Philippine national police in uh, in consultations with uh, his concern uh, uh, the staff, which is uh, the Directorate for Intelligence and the Directorate for Operations, and the data is coming from uh, the Directorate for uh, the DIVDM. Uh, he he uh, submits uh, its the, the reservation of the proposed uh, extension of uh, the validity of the uh, uh, LTA from uh, of the PTC for from one year to uh, four years. So, uh, one year pa rin po, Your Honor. Sa'yo, one year. For the PT, PTC4, yeah. sir. Okay. M Mr. Chairman, can yes. I ask just, when, uh, when? just a few questions? So, correct me if I'm wrong. My understanding is that where we are right now is that more or less there is an agreement. The LTOP, five years. Am I correct? Yes. The registration, five years. And your testimony now, as far as the PTC is concerned, one year. Yes, Your Honor. It's five, five, one. Yes, thank you very much. Uh, ju just a question. First is, how many? Un what is your estimate for the number of firearms that are not registered? Not registered, uh, uh. Um, uh, I'm not in the position, Your Honor. Um, uh, Would there be anyone the, uh, in the PNP? CSG or who could give or us a repeat. an estimate? Oh, number of unregistered. <laughs> Unregistered muna tayo. Uh, Your Honor, I am uh, Brigadier General Val de Leon, sir. Yes, uh, congratulations, Val. Yes, sir. The Chief of the Firearms and Explosives Office. Uh, based on the records of the Directorate for Intelligence, it's uh, around 28,000, sir. Unregistered. 28,000? Iba po, sir, yung unrenewed. Yes, yes. Yung unregistered, 28,000 lang? Yun, sir, yung estimate nung when we were proposing for the amnesty before. Yes, yeah, so 28,000 only. That's correct. Huh? So most are registered. How many are registered naman? The, the registered as of August 31 is uh, 1.235, sir. And Million. unrenewed is uh, 635, sir. So kalahate. Yes, sir. And the reason for the unrenewed one is because it's difficult to renew. That's correct, sir. Okay, now. Uh, okay. And the renew and the renewal is already every four years, right? You registered firearm. 
Indiyat na ihirapan pa mag-renew. Kalahati na renew na. Four years na yun. Right? Okay. Um, now, every year or every two years, there is a renewal of LTAP. Is that correct? Okay. How many people have been denied renewal of LTAP? What is the percentage? Uh, to my estimate, sir, uh, it is safe to say that uh, not more than 10% was uh, denied, sir. So 90% is approved, renewal of LTAP. That's correct, sir, because uh, based on the documents submitted or uploaded today, yes. uh, they are uh, required to submit already their NBI and uh, police clearance and uh, other documentary requirements, which is the basis for the approval of the yes. LTOP. So it's possible it's even less than 10% are not, are not approved? Because it's the same document, sir. Yes, sir, but uh, because of some requirements, as mentioned by uh, the honorable senators, because of the tedious requirements that yes. they have to submit themselves personally for neuro uh, psychiatric tests and drug yes. tests, including the documents which is coming from the from Correct. the BIC. No, meaning to say, if all the documents were submitted, ilan yung maaprubahan? Ilan yung hindi maaprubahan? Kung pareho lang ang dokumento, lahat si submit. Do you have any records on that? Yes, sir, but uh, for the renewal purposes, yes, renewal. only the updated NBI clearance, yes. the updated police clearance, okay. and of course, the updated neuro and drug Correct. Uh, examination. Okay. So, kung updated lahat, you're still saying 10% will not be renewed? Uh, the basis of the approval, sir, is uh, when these are all updated, at, uh, no hit, sir. Yes. If everything is updated, chances are 100%. Renewed? Is that correct? The statement of Honorable Rector is uh, correct, sir. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, because that, that is the basis of our bill. Kung marirenew din naman bala. Di ba? Okay. Now, on the permit to carry. So we agreed on the two already, 5-5. Five, five, eh. On the permit to carry, and remember, the 5-5 five, five is still record on the birthday to make it simpler. Kasi yun ang isa sa bill ko eh. In, in our previous meeting, sir, mm. uh, we proposed that it will be record on the birthday uh, para, sir, hindi malimutan. Pangalawa, sir, uh, uh, isahan na lang. Yes, sir. Kaysa bumili. Like, for example, you bought firearms in different months. Di ba? Every month, magre-renew ka eh. Eh, kung birthday mo, isahan na lang. Di ba? Okay. Now, uh, finally, on the permit to carry, how many have been denied a permit to carry for renewal? A renewal for permit to carry. What is the percentage? How many have a permit to carry? Para? Uh, how many uh, has the PNP issued a permit to carry? Sorry, I'm outside residence. Uh, Yes, sir. For uh, the current year, from January to uh, date, from uh, the PTC for secretary or the chief PNP have issued 23,300 PTC for. 23,000. Okay. Yes, uh, in the previous year, what was it? Last year, 2018, it was uh, 48,445. 48,000. So there's a 50% reduction. Uh, yes, Your Honor. Okay, what are the reasons for the reduction? Um, uh, for this uh, year... Uh, oh, uh, uh, I'm sorry, yeah. Last year, 48,000. Yes, Your Honor. Issued. Yes, Your Honor. How many applied? Um, uh, per record, uh, there were uh, 45. 45 uh, were denied with PTC force. Who applied for PTC force uh, last year? 45,000 or? 48,445 plus 45 applied for uh, PTC force last year. Uh, 48,045 applied. Um, 
Last year, uh, there were 45 who were denied. Only 45? Yes. Out know. of? So I presume it was uh, for, uh, the one that uh, uh, we, if we issued uh, 48,445 yes. last year, plus this uh, 45. 45 who uh, were denied, so, so 48,445 yeah. plus okay. 45. So less than 1% is denied. Uh, yes, sir. Okay, thank you. What about for this year? Ilan yung inisyo? Uh, for this year, uh, the, sec the GPNP have issued 23,300 PTC force. Okay, and how many were denied this year? Uh, for this year, uh, 62 were uh, denied. So, kukwanti lang ang nade-deny? In effect. Okay, now, do you have any data to show that uh, what is the percentage na may permit to carry na nagamit sa krimen yung barrel? <coughs> Ako na sumagot. Wala. Wala. Ano? Wala na magtayong sa likod. Uh, Wala, no? Wala. Zero. Zero. Okay. Uh, so yeah, we can move forward a bit with the indulgence of my chairman. Uh, so, you permit to carry, halos wala tayong record na magsasabi na nagamit sa krimel. Registrado. May permit pa. Tatlo na yung, tatlo na yung lisensya niya, di ba? May LTOP siya, may registration pa, may permit to carry pa. Okay? So, tatlo yung registration niya. Walang nagamit sa krimel. Okay? Yung wala namang permit to carry na may LTOP at may registration. So, sa mga tweed, yung baril niya nasa bahay lang. Okay. Ilan ang nagamit sa krimen doon? Sige, sabihin niyo kung wala kayong data. Sabihin mo lang di sa For PTC4, we, uh, we don't have uh, data. You know, no? I'm sorry? For, uh, for the secretariat of yes. the PTC4, wala po kaming uh, data doon. So, so, possible, wala nga. Because you should be the repository of the data. Yeah, para si De Leon. General De Leon, siguro, is that the FED? Yes. Is the FED? Uh, could you answer if, there's, if you have data on the number of uh, criminal or, or gun, responsible gun owners who have, have uh, registered with you that have actually committed crimes? We have, sir, uh, if I remember it uh, two months ago, sir, uh, we caused the revocation of yes. uh, 162 uh, licenses involved in various crimes. This was submitted to us by the DIDM. Yes, but in terms of percentage, that 162 out of a universe of 1.2 million, is that correct? It's, uh, the, the number is insignificant, Your Honor. It's insignificant. And that is the purpose why I ask these questions. Really, what I'm trying to point out is that those who register their firearms are responsible gun owners. Di ho ba? Yung criminal, hindi magpaparehistro ng barrel. Gagamitin sa kanukuhan niya, ba't ko i-rehistro yan? Di ba? And that is why I'm saying, maybe we should rethink the 421 or 551 for 555. Diba? Make it easier for the responsible gun owner to register his firearm. Total, hindi naman right yan, privilege yan. Pag gumawa ng katarantaduhan yan at any given time, pwede niyong tanggalin sa kanila. Just as you said, uh, General De Leon, that a few months ago, Tinanggalan ninyo at least 160 people uh, their privilege to own a firearm. Diba? So let them register. Buy na ka agad sa five years in advance. Tatlong lisensya yun. Five years in advance. Yung permit to carry, license to possess, at registration ng firearm. And at every, any given time, Pag ginamit na sama-sama, pwede niyong withdraw, pwede pa rin niyong kasuhan. 
Tapos up front yung pera na sa inyo na. Five years. Well, Dari hindi siya pa natin lahat ng barel. As much yes. as possible, yes. I, I agree with the, the President Pro Tempore. Si, yung siya sabi niya, dahil yung, kung gawin natin 555, yung uh, PTC4 na 5, okay. within the period ng 5 years na yan, kung mag, kahit na pagdudahan lang natin na ito yung naging membro ng isang uh, organized crime group, the Chipinti has the power to cancel that uh, PTC4, di ba? So, ang worry ninyo, yung ganun, mayroon tayong sagot. Kung ang worry ninyo is yung collection, bababa ang collection ninyo, yung revenue generation, eh, yung five, kung ano yung kinukolektan uh, nyo sa one year, eh, times five ninyo. Eh, yun ah. Hindi lang kayong problema. O, oh, nakismile ka na. Kang okay ka na, no? Uh, sige, please. Yeah. Actually, we were just uh, comparing because at the time the chief PNP is senator, but also the standard senator <laughs> before was one year. Now the standard is five years. So, okay, you know why the, the, the former chief PNP was now a senator? I saw the light. Yeah, as a civilian, we to protect themselves. Talaga mag nagbabago yung position ko dahil noon kayang kaya ko pa rin yung anytime, chipinti ako eh. Eh ngayon eh, civilian ako, mahirapan ako pabalik-balik doon sa krami kung sunog ko ba, do you understand, no? You should understand you, the position. Yun naman yung pang-convincing ko kay Chief PNP. Civilian oh. <laughs> na siya ngayon, di ba? So dadaan siya ng lahat na dinadaanan natin lahat. But you know, I'd like also to thank the PNP under the leadership of... Uh, General De Leon and uh, the Legis Office of the PNB who make it easier for all of us here in the Senate and the staff in the Senate to be able to renew our licenses. So maraming salamat sa inyo for the added service that you provide. No? Uh, in one-stop shop ninyo and I've seen the difference uh, not only in the Senate but many others as well. But nevertheless, mahirap pa rin yung taon-taon. Huh? Kung marami kang firearm, iba-iba yung buwan ng pagbili mo Halos buwan-buwan, nagpaparinyo ka rin ng lisensya mo. Di ba? And that's why it's better, let's do it by birth date. And then all the arguments will point out for, um, let's say, a 555 scenario. Hindi sa dinas to, ha? So thank you very much, uh, Mr. Chairman, for hearing this bill to our majority leader who filed uh, a similar measure and to all our resource persons for... Uh, participating uh, in this hearing. Thank you. Thank you, Senator Roy. Mag-isa? Ha? Meron, di, meron ba mag-isa sabi? Kailangan lang ako, di ba, Chairman? I'll just make a, no, I just, without prejudice to asking questions for the different stakeholders, pero wala naman tayong negative, well, there are probably no serious reservations on the measure, supported by our colleagues. Uh, in the proper time, uh, it's a motion that me and Senator Recto uh, will do today is to move for the approval of the two measures consolidated into one. For five years uh, uh, renewal, five years of uh, LTOP. Tapos pag-usapan na lang ninyo, Chairman, with the generals on on the uh, PTC. Pero masyado mabilis yata yung one year. Sana mag-compromise lang. Sa akin, okay na sa akin yung two years. Eh. Pero yung kung gusto niya ng... Uh, it's between one to five now. Siyempre, Senator Rectos want to push it for five, five, five. But uh, we leave it to the chairman's discretion. But uh, as far as we're concerned, uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, it's approved on, on committee level. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, sir, you submit our uh, no, uh, position paper, sir. Actually, we're retarding, so we're going to do it again. While while you're at it, while you're at it, baka gusto niya pag former PNP, pag former uniform personnel, pag nag-retire, pareho pa rin yung renewal fee. Di ba? Because you serve the government eh. Tama, idagdag natin yan. Idagdag natin yan. Yes, yes. Retire, EMP, PNP, personnel. Ano, ilang percent ba? At saka reservice. Pareho ang presyo. Pareho ang senior. <laughs> Something like that, huh? Okay, thank you. Everybody's not in your...
Thank you for your... Sa ngayon? Oo. Oh. Yes, sir. Pag-govern na yan. Sa ngayon ba? Ito, efektibo na, efektibo ito. 50% daw ang... Retired government employees. Ah, 50%? 50%? Totoo ito? 50% off? Ha? Sa ngayon? Government. So, lahat na. Pati mga teachers. Lahat. Basta sa gobyerno. Ah, okay. Okay pala ito. Meron na pala yung... Meron na? So, there's a noble uh, chairman, but uh, may other view from the private sector. So you see Mr. Claudio is raising her. Gusto na namin pakinggan siguro. You have the floor, Mr. Claudio. Okay, yeah, good afternoon to everyone. Now, actually, I have nothing against extending the duration of ETC4, even the LTOP or even the registrations. Now, regarding the ETC4, okay, now, as representing the sector of the gun club under the FEO and the Education Enforcement and uh, uh, Division, as a shooter, like, like most of the sport shooters we have here, the PTT or permit to transport for a sport shooter is sort of being discouraged. <clears throat> Wherein issue once is within reason, unreasonable time frame of match schedule and none for shooting practices before the date of match, which is a must for an active sport shooter to test equipment and prepare for various course, course of fire challenges. Though PTC4 is more accessible instead, but sport shooter requiring threat assessment is vague, okay, which may just become a corruption or red tape. Since most of these sport shooters, especially specifically licensed sport shooter, actually don't have threat of any nature. So I hereby request to let it be included or added and be considered in Section 7, which state on the basic law for the purpose of this act, the following professionals are considered to be in imminent danger due to the nature of their profession, occupation, or business, which defines many members of the bar certified <coughs> up to letter H, engineers and businessmen who by nature of their business or undertakings are exposed to high risk. I would like to request the additional of letter I, licensed sport shooters, as to the nature of their activities and training in the developing professional skills in sports for national and international sports competition with approved permit to transport of ammunition. So this is one of my prayer in terms of PTC4. Kasi ho, mi problema kami. Uh, ang wala, actually, the DFEO is here. Wala ho kami makukuhang PTT para sa practice. Ang meron lang, yung actual match. Which, hindi ho, Obreo, ang kala nagpa-practice. And one thing is, we buy or we reload, ask for a reload for our ammunition even a month or weeks before the match. How could we transport that from an entity to our residents if we don't have PTT? A PTC, if it has been granted, pro, pro, uh, assuming that I was granted as a PTC, but it doesn't reflex or allow me to transport my ammunition ordering from a store to my residents and checking it before the match. That's one. Uh, Mr. Claudio, yeah. Uh, I agree with you because marami akong shooter na kaibigan and I was formerly also a, a competition shooter. The problem lang is how do we determine that the person is actually a competition shooter or pretending to be one? Kasi ang mangyayari dyan, if there is an exemption to competition shooters dun sa threat assessment, baka lahat na po ng may-ari ng firearms na 1 million na yan, sabihin nila, they now are competition shooters. Is there a recommendation? on who will now give the uh, recommendation or the certification of such. 
dapat mga NSA, for example, National Sports Association, which is uh, acknowledged by the POC. Di ba? Ang problema, marami kayong NSA. Nag-aaway-aaway din yung NSA ng shooting. Eh. So, maybe you can assist us on uh, how we can make that possible. Well, I don't uh, agree ako po sa mga legitimate shooters. Ah. Marami tayong legitimate shooters. We're actually world champions, like si the Jet Dionisio and all the, the ones followed after him. Problema natin is how will it not be, how can we prevent it from not being abused? Uh, uh, okay. Would you, Castro, uh, okay. I'm uh, Bo Boji Castro from uh, PISMOC. Uh, to address uh, regulatory concerns sir, by the PNP, the respective uh, shooting associations like the PISMOC, uh, PPSA, and PNSA uh, will be the one to endorse the active yeah. shooters uh, to the PNP. Uh, so when they apply, we will write a letter certifying that the person is really an active shooter and is participating the, in it's shooting an active, uh, An active shooter is different from a uh, uh, competition shooter. Mm -hmm. uh, an active shooter is every, active we're all active shooters. We all go to the, we want to go to the range every week. That's right. Diba? So we define so, as active hindi shooter Hindi naman compete, pero nasa range lang every week. So w we have to define that, kasi kung hindi, that's about 1.2 million that will be able to carry guns which may be a problem for the PNP. It's bigger than the force. I think that's three times the size of the force of PNP. I think, ako naman, okay naman sa akin yung uh, may counting leverage tayo leeway, but we just don't want uh, it to be abused because uh, look what's happening now in the US, di ba? Dami nagbabarilan dyan. So we don't also want a situation where um, uh, everybody's, oh, that 1.2 million is caring. Actually, I don't carry. I have a PTC. I never use it. I keep it at home. Problema kasi when you have a firearm with you, lalo kang tumatapang. At kung na, may nitong ulo mo, bababa ka sa sasakyan. Kung ano pang gagawin mo, nakabideo ka pa, patay na. So, uh, so, do you understand? So, we have to come up with a sweet spot, siguro to help the chairman. Because if it's just an association, magpapalakasan lang yan without, without due respect. No? Baka magpalakasan lang yan. Chairman, no? saan mo na ako dyan sa listahan na yan? Dapat yan, meron talagang competition shooter na nakikita mo, listahan, top 100 shooters of the region or of the city, makikita mo, they actively compete. Okay yun. Pero kung ano lang, yung pupunta sa range every week, baka pwede na permit to transport. So tuloy natin yung permit to transport. My, my, just my simple thoughts. Si Atty. Moreno, uh, please. Good afternoon, Your Honors. I'm attorney Rod Moreno of Gun Owners in Action. We are in favor of the proposal, Your Honor, to Your Honors, to extend the validity of a permit to carry to four years. Five, five, sorry, five. Yes, Your Honor. Because, Your Honor, the threat against us does not dissipate after every year. So the threat is continuing. And regarding, Your Honor, the concern of the PNP to monitor uh, those with PTCs, Your Honor, we submit that the condition of PTC is that the holder must submit to an inspection every time he is carrying his firearm. So that is already satisfied, Your Honor. And also, Your Honor, we gun owners were also being monitored by our wives already, Your Honor. Thank you, Attorney. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Your Honor. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Primaris, you want to say something? Uh, sir, maganda nga po po. Yung sa akin, yung active sports shooter na sinasabi namin dito is we are only about ilang libo? Uh, we have uh, 8,000 from PISMOC and about 10,000 from PPSA. So we have about 18 to 20,000 active shooters. So that is uh, roughly about 10% of all the shooter uh, registered firearms uh, uh, registered uh, no, gun owners. Well, that is 1% pala. So uh, the rest are we can consider as mga Sunday shooters. Yung mga nagpupunta lang once in a while sa range, po, bibili ng isang kaon ng bala, uubusin yung bala doon, tapos just to hone their skills with handling the firearm. To be responsible enough na hindi, in the event na may mangyaring uh, home invasion, eh hindi nila mabaril ang sarili nila. Ngayon, maybe we can come up with a terminology for them na hindi sport shooter. Uh, yun lang po ang ano, yung stand ko ron. Yes, yes. Yung, uh, 
I agree with you guys. Uh, the only thing is, my worry lang, uh, gentlemen, no, to be in the practical side, my worry lang, we have colleagues that might be, uh, once na pinag-usapan na natin yung permit to carry, tsaka yung, yung permit to transport and all, may mga colleagues na tayo baka, baka umalma. Kaya yung sa bill ko, it's only ownership and uh, LTAP. Pag linigyan mo na yung paghawak ng baril, meron na kami mga bleeding hearts sa, sa plenary that might uh, make it difficult no? for, for, for us. So I'm just giving you the practical side of it. Huh? So I'd rather have a bill that we can pass that is uh, doable rather than no passage at all. But uh, maybe we can come up with a third technical working group. The chairperson is completely adequate enough to, to make that decision, being that he is a former chief PNP. And he handles cases like this, no uh, misuse of firearms, etc. Et Pero yun lang, uh, yun lang worry ko, Chairman, kasi pag pinasukan na natin yan, meron na ako mga limang senador na alam ko, baka mahirapan tayong nagkakaproblema because of the carrying of firearms. So, uh, pati yung uh, permit to carry, it's not even in the law, di ba? The permit to carry just gives you, gives the chief PNP full discretion. Eh. <coughs> Nasa chief PNP yung full discretion ng permit to carry. Eh. Ang alam ko talagang siya lang ang makakabigay nun ng go or no go. Di ba po, uh, Colonel? Uh, that is correct, Your Honor. That's, that's right. So, uh, with the discussions of the old law, the, the one passed in 2013, I remember that the discussion went around just giving it to the chief PNP. Of course, with a very stringent number of requirements. Uh, for the main reason that you really have to be careful of the, who you will be giving the firearms to. So, Attorney Francisco, mula. Good afternoon, Your Honors. In so far as the Philippine Practical Shooting Association is concerned, we have 308 gun clubs all over the country, and we have 23,000 shooters. Um, I would only surmise that we would be appreciative of the extension of the LTAP in the registration, but I think the permit to carry firearm outside of residence should be given further study. Uh, but perhaps to help the sport shooters, probably we could consider extending the PTT, permit to transport, to allow us to buy fi uh, ammunition, paraphernalia, shooting paraphernalia, and practice. Uh, and practice, uh, have ample time for practice for competitions. That's so, para, para mabilis tayo yung, uh, may request yo, sir, uh, pakisubmit yung position paper nyo pertaining to, uh, yung una si Knight mo, Ernie Claudio, yung, uh, yung PTC4, PTT, and also PNP, magsubmit kayo ng position paper nyo. And, uh, the Comsec will uh, ayusin lang namin, yung match lang namin na gusto para mag-come up tayo ng bill na hindi kami mahirapan palusutin doon sa plenary. Pa, uh, sa atin naman ito lahat. So, uh, meron pa si um, let me acknowledge uh, Mr. Alaric Tupacio. Magsasalita ka. Please, go ahead. Your Honor, good afternoon. Uh, I'm Eric Topasio from APAD. We are the main association basically for all firearms and ammunition dealers here in the Philippines. So, uh, Mr. Your Honor, I think ilang beses na po kayo nakapunta sa gun show namin and you all know naman po that APAD together with PNP promotes responsible gun ownership. And we fully agree po na yung extension for LTOP and registration to five years. Although for the PTC po or the PDT, we also, syempre, we also want the best for our shooters. As we all know po, PPSA PISMOC has produced a lot of shooters that have brought honor to the Philippines. We have, we have kids who are already shooting who went abroad, brought in gold and silver medals. We have trap shooters like Eric Ang, Jetro Junish, who have, who have been in the Olympics before. And you have, you have my brother, Hagen Topasio, as well, who's, all of them are in Italy and they're competing for the SEA Games. Now, why do we want permit to carry, permits to carry for, for these sports shooters? It's precisely because in shooting po, isa lang naman po ang priority sa shooting eh. We prioritize one thing in the sport, that is safety. 
And these people who are sports shooters who are applying for these permits or even your permit permits to transport, they're all they're only given five days to shoot. You're given a permit to transport today. You're given five days para dalin yung barrel mo sa shooting range, then uwi ka na. With, with the permission of the chairman, uh, isn't it in the law there is already a category for sports shooters? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, by extension then, their license can be for sports shooting. Yes. Uh, May category naman ito. Your, your Honor, yeah. yung, yung validity po ng permit to transport. Actually, it was done before. Eh. We were given one or two months before for permit, permi three months for permits to transport. So basically, it would be easier for shooters to do that. You don't necessarily have to give a permit to carry. Mm. So basically, po, it would be easier for shooters. For AFAD, po, that's basically kami po ang pinupuntahan ng lahat ng gun owners dito sa Philippines. Uh, kami po ang unang linalapitan nila if they're, asking for, if they're asking questions on how to get their LTOP, how to register. And we encounter problems parate na two years ang LTOP mo, four years ang registration mo. So it would be better nga po, Your Honor, if it would be five years. Because, you know, not everybody naman po maalala nila, especially if, if you're a gun collector, for example, and you have more than 50 guns, and hindi sabay-sabay lahat ng registration mo. During this month, dalawa mag expire Next month, apat mag expire It's really hard to monitor. And what the proposal right now, AFAD fully agrees po and fully supports this House bill. But for the permits to carry po, hopefully po, if we can give privilege or we can be more lenient to sports shooters with the help of PISMOC and PPSA, it would really help the sport out and you know if we produce a lot of shooters it will bring honor to the country mm. so chair we can review the the number of days i think five days is too short you're absolutely correct Dapat yan, at least 15 days or even a month so we, we will look into that i think the chairman will also look into that and your honor if i may po giving a month, two months, three months to shooters, may iwasan din po natin dyan, syempre, yung mga taong hindi naman naiinip. Kasi if you're getting a new permit to transport, it takes you how many signatures to get it. So most people, may, pag binigyan natin sa'yo na ganyan kahabang permit transport, may iwasan din natin, syempre, yung mga naglalakas loob na lang. Kumbaga. Yung nagdadala na lang, mas ka walang permit. Mm -hmm. May iwasan po natin yan. Kasi what shooters are asking for lang naman is, Leniency for those, because they really want to comply. I think most people who get their LTOPs, who register their firearms, they have already complied with all these tasks, neuropsychiatric drug test, uh, everything and anything, they comply. For permit permit to transport, they can easily comply naman po, just give them more time. Siguro. Buti nga kayo eh, nakakabaril kayo dito, kami sa Mindanao, dalawang taon na hindi kami nakakabaril. <laughs> Kaya sa buisit na marshal on yan, of course, in full support of the 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 government but yeah we can't shoot we can't travel with the firearms mm. although po, ano po? training in uh, our knees again mm. para <laughs> pag may dumating eh, so sa knees na lang kami so side naman po namin with regards to the PNP we're very thankful to with the uh, with the leadership of General Valdelion because he modernized everything it's now easier for everybody to to renew but uh, if you're if everybody po is in agreement to extend that would be better po for us stakeholders thank you so, pagkidagdag lang doon sa position paper niyo kung gaano kahaba ang gusto niyo kayo rin PNP, gumawa rin kayo ng position paper niyo kung gaano kahaba ang pwede niyong ibigay na PTT, na pwede maibigay natin. Ha? Lagay kayo ng position paper, position paper para ayusin natin. Mr. Chairman, support ka namin. We'll fully support the uh, recommendations of the Chair on the committee report. Pero tama sinabi ni Chairman, anong may bibigay pa ninyo ang dagdag? So, I don't know status quo, at least a PTC, kung ano mabibigay na dagdag, and then you permit to transfer, ano din mabibigay na dagdag. I think something that's, uh, uh, I'd say, um, um, doable. Doable. Uh, just, uh, Chairman, si General Diata. Right. Uh, one second, sir. Good afternoon. Uh, the concerns of our stakeholders have been addressed, actually, sir. In fact, uh, uh, we're coming up with a paper to be approved by the Chief PNP because historically, the PPT was uh, circumvented to be as the PTC. Kaya sir, kung maalala niya, yung three months PTT, hindi nag-prosper because yung mga iba uh, ginamit yung PTT uh, in exchange of the PTC, PTC4. 
Kaya ngayon, sir, we are trying to engage the services or the database of our formal organizations like PPSA and PSMOC and PNSA uh, for them to certify whether indeed they're uh, in uh, good moral character and actively participating. One of the recommendations in that paper is even the range officers who are not receiving any salary, but they observe the highest degree of discipline in, uh, in, uh, in shooting, Pinopos uh, namin said that they should also enjoy the PTC4 for a fee of 200, similar to senior citizen and, uh, and uh, government. Kasi sir, sa tulad na sabi ko, they observe the highest discipline in uh, shooting. Uh, uh, sir, allow me to uh, state some few words uh, with the sayang na wala yung dalawa, sir. Uh, with my more than two years and five months uh, engagement with our stakeholders, Nobody is happy about the two years and four years. So the, the, the bill is a welcome move from both the PNP and uh, the stakeholders in order to cure the uh, confusion. Because these two licenses uh, must coexist with each other. Kahit valid yung registration mo, if your LTOP is, uh, has expired, uh, you don't have the authority to own and possess and keep a firearm. So this will cure uh, uh, several confusions among, uh, between uh, stakeholders. Secondly, sir, nawala lang si Pro Tempor tsaka si Majority Floor Leader. But easy, uh, making the licensing easy also to the leadership also of uh, the presiding chair because it was during your time when uh, the online was approved by you and that uh, all the glitches have already been cured. And I say that it is uh, a very effective uh, uh, licensing procedures already. So let me thank the two senators uh, in your, on your left and on your right who made recognition on the effort of the CSG and FEO to make things easier. And lastly, sir, uh, just to make things clear, uh, the PNP interposes no objection of lengthening the validity of licenses. And if you remember, that is one of the way forward that was presented to you by me uh, in uh, the FEO uh, to, to uh, lengthen the validity of uh, the, the LTOP and the registration. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So, ibig sabihin, hindi ko nagkakamali na ginawa kitang director ng FEO. Ah, yun lang gusto mo. Yun lang gusto mong ibalik kong uh, comment sa'yo eh. <laughs> Alam ko, yun yung gusto mo ang ibalik ko. But anyway, totoo, totoo yan. Uh, you've done uh, enough for uh, that office. Uh, maganda, maganda yung mga ginawa mo dyan. But uh, balikan ko yung uh, pag-usapan natin, no? Yung pa parang the, this committee, this community, this uh, committee and uh, all the stakeholders ay nag-agree doon sa 5-5. Pero doon sa PTC4, ako somehow backtrack muna ako doon sa 5 kanina dahil kinusyon ako ni majority leader na sigurado daw na mayroong haharang doon sa plenary dyan. So, bahala na kayo sa inyong position paper. Pero huwag naman siguro one year. Mga dagdagay, huwag gawin yung two years ba? O maging three. Kahit na to, o okay na yun. Pero basta, te, gawin na lang yung ilang kwan sa position paper niyo para naman na uh, uh, kasi kung 555 sigurado daw may malakas na opposition please sa uh, eh, sir eh, nung time mo eh, yung sport shooter kasama yung mga rifle at shotgun na binibigyan mo ng PTC na may 500 rounds na PTT for ammo eh, nung mawala ka na dis na na disenfranchise kami ng mga shooter at binibigyan lang kami ng 5 days na PTT. Yung dati 1 year yung ano namin sa iyo na PTC 
So, nakaka, well, we, freely, nakakabiyahe kami, nakakapunta kami ng Dabao, nakakapunta kami sa Cebu, nai-check-in na, namin sa aeroplano. But then, again, meron kaming, na, ikwento ko na sa iyo, nagkaroon kami ng konti problema sa airport nung nag-check-in kami. Hindi kinilala yung 500 rounds ni Air Asia. At naharas kami, kami ni Boji Castro, si Governor Teng Mauda Dato, eh, ang kinikilala lang nila is 50 rounds na isang box na may dalawang magazine. So doon mismo sa check-in counter, pinalabas nila sa amin yung bala at magazine at nag-load, pinag-load kami ng bala sa magazine at nilagay namin 50 rounds exactly at binibilang pa ng security guard nila kung ilang bala yung nilagay namin sa box. Hindi ba mas delikato yun? At buti na lang mo at walang, walang keyboard warrior na nag-video sa amin na naglo-load kami ng bala doon sa mismo check-in counter sa Terminal 4. Kung hindi, iskandalo malaki yun. Hindi lang para sa aming mga shooter, pati sa PNP. Eh, walang one, taga... Abse abse ko abse group na nag eh, wala silang magawa eh policy daw ng airline. At doon kami pinag-load ng bala, binubukas. You know how we transport our firearms and our ammunition and magazine. They are all in separate boxes. Pero in that moment, in that case, doon mismo sa check-in counter, pinil pinilit nila na 50 rounds ang lagay namin doon sa kahon ng ba ng baril. Anyway, dagdag mo na yan sa position paper ninyo. Oo, oh, ah, dadagdag namin. Dagdag ninyo. At saka yung may balik na sana yung all, right, all uh, firearms used for competition, malagay na rin sa PTT, PTC. Uh, small arms naman yun eh. Hindi kasama ang kwala, M16? Hindi kasama. Eh, tinanggal na natin yun eh. Yeah, tinanggal natin yun. No? So, so eh, PCC, eh, mini rifle, PCC, PRR, mini rifle. Oh, shotgun. Huh? Oh, okay lang yun. Oh. Di ba yung kasama sa pinagbawang ni Presidente? Oh, hindi ah, ayaw na niya yung high power. Oh, yun lang. lang. Yung M16. No, ano, okay. yung full. Thank you. Your honor. Thank you po. Thank you po. Meron na? Meron pang gusto mong salita? Okay na tayo? Ah, Ernie Claudio. Okay. In addition to that, actually yung two years and four years. Uh, anyway, okay sa akin yung five. Okay? Kaya lang, two years and four years, firearms registration, LTAP and registration was technically based on this concept. Kasi nagkaroon din ng public hearing before under ki Greek Grace po during 2016, I think. Ang sabi ng technical group, bakit ganon is this. <coughs> sabi niya, Firearms with four years validity ay hindi nasisira yung baril. But anytime within two years, a licensed, sports, a licensed citizen ay pwedeng masiraan ng pag-iisip o desisyon due to many reasons and consequences. That's why the PNP and the state should have to revisit the mental attitude and aptitude of its licensee by way of neuro and drug tests. I will cut you short, uh, Ernie. Yeah, ano ta? Gusto mo ba talaga yung no? boto? No, no. <laughs> no <laughs> Inano ko lang yung bakit naging... Ano, okay okay din. Alam na, may record naman ng committee niyan. Yung, uh, one, kung sa uh, isitin natin ngayon, five day o to? Ako, five. Oh, okay. Sige, okay, okay, okay na tayo. Huwag mo na discuss yung okay. napag-usapan yun ni Chris Poe noon. Okay. Tapos na yun. Okay na yun. Panahon na ni Bato ngayon. Okay na yun ni Chris Poe. Okay, okay. okay. And, last, uh, and last na lang. Oh, sige. I would like also to include ELTO ID card to be government-issued identification card or ID since it is the most credible identification of an individual it, that it has. It is not forever but renewal as a true Filipino citizen, etc. Not to mention the most expensive and passes through many process. Thank you, thank you. Maraming salamat. Hello. Sir, last lang, sir, uh, during the technical working group uh, held uh, before, uh, presided by Senators Laxon and Recto, it was mentioned that uh, the centerpiece of the present administration is the anti-drug. 
And if we lengthen the validity of the, of the LTOP, we'll uh, necessarily make uh, an individual to submit himself for one-time uh, test for five years. And that is why we requested uh, two senators then to incorporate or integrate in one of the provisions that the chief PNP through the chief FEO can require a licensee to submit his neuro and drug test within the period of the validity. Meaning, kahit na on the third year or on the first year, pwede namin siyang submit. And then uh, lastly, sir, I would like to inform the Honorable uh, Senator Bato, sir, that uh, we have a FLRRB into play. This is a very active board of uh, the Firearms and Explosives Office that conducts and validates, evaluates the continuing ownership. FLRB stands for Firearms License Revocation and Restoration Board. So, yun, sir, it will address also the concerns of the stakeholder that any time during the, the lengthened validity, we can revoke the license of an individual. Thank you, sir. Very good. Thank you for those inputs. Anyway, uh, it's already 2.30 too. Hanggang 2.30 lang tayo dito dapat. So, wala naman siguro ang importante. Oh. Pakisubmit na lang yung position paper niyo para mapubilisan namin ito, itong mga bills na ito. So, again, uh, maraming salamat sa inyong pagdating. Uh, I hope uh, tumutuloy pa rin yung cooperation natin pagdating dito sa firearms uh, community. Lahat-lahat uh, magtutulungan tayo. Maraming salamat at uh, good afternoon sa ating lahat.